Uh, welcome to our second lesson on trigonometry 3, that is a topic, and our subtopic is waves. In this lesson, we are going to learn uh, about uh, amplitude and period. On the board, you can see I have uh, I already plotted a sketch or a, a, a rough graph of what, what we call a wave. So this is a wave of uh, y is equal to sine, sine beta or sine x. So this is, uh, we can say, is a function of sine x. So if that's a function of sine x, uh, it's a very short uh, lesson because all what we need to know is what is amplitude and what is period. You can see here, my wave start from zero. Uh, on the positive side of y, I have 0 0.5 and 1. Uh, on the other side, I have negative 0 0.5 and I have negative 1. So, we start with the amplitude. Amplitude is the maximum displacement from the x-axis. That is, uh, you can see there's our, our, our wave here. The maximum point is 1. So this is actually the amplitude. The maximum displacement. So that is the amplitude. And amplitude uh, is uh, the same whether the negative. So amplitude here is equals to 1 because that is where we have the maximum displacement. On the negative side, we have this is the amplitude is equals to 1. Uh, so it doesn't matter whether it is a negative side or the, uh, uh, the positive side. That is the maximum, uh, maximum displacement. Uh, then we come to period. Uh, you can see my wave starting from zero it goes up to 180 uh, then again from 180 to 360 at 360 uh, we are back to zero that is the y-axis now and uh, it has we have made a complete uh, we have made a complete peri uh, a complete uh, turn that is this is half and the other one is half so when you make uh, let's say from a to b to c it is at c where we have made a complete uh, a, a complete cycle uh, so this is like a half, the other one is a half, so that is a complete cycle. That is what we call the period. And the period of this, the, the sine wave is 360 because that is when you complete. From 360, you can see there is another 360 to take us to 720. So period... We can say it is where we make up to where we make a complete cycle. So that's a period. Uh, this is also a period. So that is what we define as uh, amplitude and the period of a wave. So we are going to look at uh, one or two examples. Then uh, we stop there to go to the next lesson, that is lesson 3. So let's do that. Okay, so here is our example 1. And already I have plotted a, a, a rough sketch of what uh, the, the wave. Uh, and we are told to state the amplitude and the period. This is the wave of y is equals to sine sine 2x so that is the wave well, that is the function of our wave 
we start with the amplitude. We have stated or we have said that amplitude is the maximum displacement. And if you check on uh, what I have on the board, the maximum displacement is 1. The negative side is negative 1, but we are talking of displacement, which is a vector. So it can it will take the positive value. The magnitude of, uh, it takes the magnitude of negative 1 is 1. So amplitude, uh, which we can use A to represent amplitude, is equals to 1. That is the maximum displacement. Then the, we go to period. We have said period is uh, the duration you take to make a complete cycle in terms of the, the, the angles. Uh, we since we have the we have our wave is representing angles. So this is the period from zero to ninety. That's a half cycle. Then again, we complete the, the full cycle at 180. That means period is equals to 180 degrees. That is uh, the angle that you take to make a complete cycle, as we can see on uh, our wave. So that's how you answer that. Uh, it's not a very... I think what is important is you understand what is amplitude and what is period. So I will not take so much time uh, on this because we have some other lessons that are waiting for us ahead. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Uh, uh, the next, uh, we, we are welcome to our third uh, lesson in this topic.